The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Ryan Suckup of the Titans has this one teed up, and we are underway from Nissan Stadium. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And his first look is incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And it's second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They go play action now. Jackson dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Nick Boyle, 28 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead it 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Tannehill. Tried for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. They could not ask for a worse start. You give up a touchdown on the game's opening drive, and then you turn right around and throw the interception on your very first play. And this is where the coaching staff has to earn its money because they've got to calm these guys down a little bit. Just as you noted, a horrendous start both sides of the ball. But now the defense, which gave up an opening drive touchdown, They've got to go out there now and start playing like the team they want to be. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Kamale Correa in there to get him. It's a loss of five to try again after the sack. Jackson. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Flushed out right. Flushed to his right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked it and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. He finds Roberts complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. That's all. They'll run here with Ingram. 
And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And again, it's Ingram. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Now Jackson, two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go? And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. From a yard out as the Ravens push further out in front. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. <laughs> on second down now, it's Henry, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Tight to the right, boys. Tight to the right. Move. Even, even. Four down. Even, even. Hey, Delta. 48, 48 Mike, 48 Mike. Ready to go. Trash, that's trash. Now, from the gun on third down, Taylor Hill. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And a fake here, direct snap to the up man. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, let's go, let's go, and he didn't get there. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Now Jackson on first down, eluding the pressure right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And that might be Titan football. It is. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Tannehill. Under pressure, and he's going to go down. Tannehill sacked. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Hey, 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 we got three down, three down. Let's go now. 18 Gators. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we go Mike to 48 right now. Bravo. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. See Griff. Tannehill. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Matt Judon. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Hey, Wahoo! 36, 36. Hey, Sam off! I'm about to take you to school. Instead, they go empty backfield as they look to throw. 
Uncorks one for Davis. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Here's Thomas. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Four down, four down. go. Here's Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The former first-round pick, Marlon Humphrey, there to get a hand on it. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back in pass rush. They've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Now it's Tannehill. He gets it to Humphreys. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. The first red zone opportunity for the Titans. It's first and 10 from the 12. To throw is Tannehill. Being chased out left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. You remember me? Let's go, baby. Hey, hey, lock it. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. Shoot. On second down, here's Henry. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. a reminder. I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Hey. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into Jackson hit, and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And a first and goal coming up here inside the 10-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery, yeah, slippery. and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was that three drives? Yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration. You'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. It was bidding for a second. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point put through by Sucker. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even on two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it. Let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him. And they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Second and nine. Jackson buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Jackson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. To throw once more on second and ten. Jackson. Yeah. pass. Complete to Seth Roberts. Uh, an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. They go screen. This is Ingram. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Tannehill. Got him in. It's Brown. 
And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now Tannehill. It's gone for the Davis. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. Tannehill. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Janu Smith there to make the grab. And the Titans have taken the lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This is taken at his four. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And with that, folks, I want to remind you to join the NFL Salute to Service. This season, the NFL and its players are honoring those who proudly serve our country. And fans are encouraged to join the NFL players. In and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And the lead now up to 14. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This one fielded at the 5. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I were down there. We could hear the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to look. There goes Mark Ingram. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Ingram, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. That is today's NFL, isn't it? If you're going to be a running back in this league, you've got to be complete to stay on the field, at least for those three downs we talk about. Got to be able to catch it, which he's doing quite well in this one. Two touchdowns already. Yeah, a little unconventional. He hasn't been able to cross the goal line as a runner, but as you say, twice as a receiver. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, 75 yards. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. 
Extra point put through by Sucker. And the lead now up to 14. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This is taken at his four. Broken tackle. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. And the Raven first down. Quick throw taken in by Sneed. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They go play action with Jackson, rolling to his right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck a deep left side. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action. It's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. Here as he's taken down, Harold Landry able to finally wrestle him down for what's just going to be a huge loss, and it takes us to fourth down as well. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. Flushed out right. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up with safety. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years? He has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go Let's four. Go 